Yo, what is up everybody? Today I'll be showing you guys how to do pan crop on mobile. For this video, I'm going to be using the app called Video Star. Here are the prices for it. Although there are like free versions of it and you can use it for free, you just won't have all the effects and everything. Then you also can crack it and you can buy like the packs like separate like that. And there are a few types of pan crop. You have like pan crop on the clips that's like zooms and stuff like that. And then you have like pan crop on cinematics. That's like from the clip to the cinematic. And that's the one that I'm going to be showing first. So you're going to open up Video Start. So you're going to want to go to the spot where there's the clip. And then you go once to the right. And it's the cinematic. And you just want to go to this section like right over here. Where you can find that split. And you're going to go New, Multi-Layer, 1. And then you're just going to select the one that you want. And then Edit Keyframes. And now you're going to want to go to where that cinematic starts. So it starts like right about here and you can just add like a keyframe by doing that that's just like adding a marker and i usually go like a few over it doesn't really matter what exactly it is but i just go a few over and then add another marker and then like a few more over add another marker and on this middle one which is on the uh the split from the clip to the cinematic you're just gonna put the size on about like 114. That's what I usually do. And then you're gonna go to that middle one again. And you're gonna move it over just like that. And you want like this line in the middle, like right here to be straight. And I usually just move it over to like that first bar on the grid. And to toggle the grid, you can just press that on and off. And this will seem like a little weird at first, but all you have to do is really just go over one more keyframe and then drag this over like that, just like that. And it's gonna look really weird at first because you have that. But when we add like the tracking blur and everything, it actually has a nice effect to it. And also when we add the graphs. And now you're gonna go back to these keyframes like right here and you're gonna go to center layer, this keyframe right here, center layer. So this is what it looks like right now. Doesn't look good at all, but this is why we have graphs. So for the size graph, I usually do something like this, and I match it with that. You pretty much just keep on playing around with the graphs until it looks smooth. That's what I do. Yep, that looks smooth. And then I'm going to do that for the graph and uh, that one for the graph. Basically until it looks smooth, like I said. Yeah, that looks smooth. And now we're going to go to back, color, and tracking blur. You can play around with the amounts right here. But I just usually just keep it in the middle because I think it's fine. Then mirror. And you're going to want to do that last one right there. And then you're going to press create on it. And this is what the final product for this looks like. So it looks really smooth. Also, here's a tip for using Video Star. If you already have a bunch of splits in your video and you want to like go back and add stuff where these splits are, you can actually just like hover over a spot like that. Go to edit. And you can go to merge scenes and you can press set, set start and you can go to like the end and press set end wherever merge and it'll keep all the effects on it as it is like that all right now for the pan crop on the clip you're just going to want to find a beat that you want to do the zoom on so i have one right there and this one's a little bit harder because you have to find like the exact beat whereas on the cinematic you can just put the pan crop on the cinematic it has nothing to do with syncing right here you actually do have to do some syncing so right here it looks like the beat is like as soon as i put that stair right there and i'm just gonna merge these scenes so it's a little bit easier all right now i'm gonna go to new multi-layer one then this one right here and then we're gonna go to edit keyframes all right now what you're gonna do is you're gonna like find where you want so usually i would have the pan crop zoom right here but instead of having it right here i'm actually gonna go forward a few keyframes and add a keyframe right there and then i'm gonna go before it i'd say a little bit before it so pretty much we want like where we would have like the regular pan crop end right in the middle of these two keyframes and then on this one we can set it to the size that we want i'll do like 130s yeah 130 should be fine or whatever looks best for your clip and then you're gonna press the graph and you're gonna do a custom graph and now you're gonna go in one keyframe and in one keyframe and add keyframe and you're just gonna drag these closer to the center like this 
and the goal is to keep these lines like below and above these like gray squares right here like the gray uh grid like you don't want it up here pretty much it's like right here it should be perfect and then you're just gonna drag this one like that now the, this graph should be pretty good and why i do this is because it fades in slowly and then it speeds up quickly then fades out slowly if i were to do a graph like if i were to do a graph like this one right here it'll stop really abruptly like that and it won't be smooth so going back to the custom graph you're just gonna make something like this drag it somewhere towards the center keep it above and below the gray grid and then you can play it once you're ready like that and see how smooth that looks and then you can go back and then obviously play around with it a little bit more but this graph honestly just looks the smoothest for pan crop on the clip and then you also want to fade it out i think i want to fade it out like right there so i'm just going to add like a keyframe and then put it back to 100 and you could really do any graph for this like honestly the preset should be just fine because it fades out smoothly basically you just don't want anything to stop abruptly and it should be good so this is what we have yeah it looks pretty smooth then you can press create on it and then i also forgot to add this when we were doing cinematic pan crop and this is just another version of it so we're gonna go to new multi-layer boom and boom and you can see that this cinematic is actually going up like the movement is going upward so then i would want my pan crop to be going upward with the cinematic so it flows well like if this cinematic was panning from the left to the right then i would want my pan crop from the left to the right if you know what i mean by that or if it was going right to left i would want the pan crop right to left so this cinematic is actually going up so we're gonna change the pan crop on it so it goes up so we're gonna add a keyframe where that cinematic is go over just a few keyframes and over a few keyframes as well and once again i'm just gonna do like that 114 because i think it's just a good middle and for this you don't have to go so much up i'd say less actually maybe like about half a square should be good move over one and then half a square like that and then right here and option center layer center layer and you can do the same graphs that you were doing before so yeah it's gonna look awkward at first like that but once we add our tracking blur and then the mirror it'll look good so then press create on it and yeah it looks really smooth all right that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video if you guys want any more mobile tutorials or any more mobile videos make sure you leave a comment down below because it's really hard coming up with new video ideas almost every day. Also, I wasn't active the past like day or two because it was my birthday yesterday. And I was just hanging out with family and hanging out with some friends. But yeah, I'm out. Peace.